As we told you a little bit earlier, uh, Browns and Amari Cooper have um, agreed to a restructured contract. Um, just the, the one year, they guarantee the $20 million. They add an additional five. Um, according to multiple sources, those five are in incentives. Uh, Cooper earned his fifth Pro Bowl selection last year after career high, 1,250 yards, five touchdowns. Uh, let's welcome in Sam Monson, Pro Football Focus, co-host of the um, PFF NFL podcast. Sam, when you look at this, um, it's not a ridiculous uh, amount of money given what has happened to the um, to the NFL wide receiver market. You know, you, you got the $35 million, uh, at the top with, um, with uh, Jefferson. Cooper's been productive. They avoid a holdout. Um, it's a pretty palatable thing for, I, I would think it, it's a pretty good job by the, by the Browns front office to get that done and get him in and, and not have the drama. Yeah, I think it's a deal that makes everybody happy here. Um, it guarantees, you know, Cooper's money. That's probably the the biggest thing for him. There's a few extra million in there in terms of incentives if he has a really good year. And then for Cleveland, they get to, you know, get one of their most important players in the building. Um, and they're not tied to him long term. And as much as they might not love the idea of paying him $25, 30000000 million a season, it's different when it's only one season versus when it's a long-term contract. So I think it will be, uh, they'll sort of revisit this down the line. You know, do we want to keep Amari Cooper on a big money contract going forward? But for right now, I think it makes a ton of sense from both sides to get him in the building, to get things cooking and to let the team focus on the season. How important is that, that you don't have that, constant distraction of asking, you know, how's the Amari Cooper contract going? How, and um, I, I know the, the front office, you know, the Deshaun Watson trade is the Deshaun Watson trade. But when you look at what they've done as a whole, I mean, it was a mess when Andrew Berry took over, and, and it hasn't been since. Yeah, I mean, I don't think the distraction is a huge thing, but we've been talking all offseason. The single most important thing, and really the only important thing for the Cleveland Browns this offseason is fixing Deshaun Watson, you know, getting him back to a reasonable level of play. And anything that jeopardizes that, I think, is something that the Browns don't want any part of. So obviously any kind of upset with his number one wide receiver is something that absolutely jeopardizes the potential of Deshaun Watson to get back to playing his best football. So from that perspective, I think it's the only real solution for the Browns. Forget the distraction, forget, you know, the, what it means for Mari Cooper. You need Deshaun Watson's number one receiver in camp and let's get this thing moving from day one. You can't afford to mess with that, I think.